Okay, so first thing I want to um, uh, say is um, we go back to the one here, back to the beginning. Uh, this distance I tried to say on the last video that uh, we can use this value to change, set the offset here. The reason that's not working is because this is percentage. And if you go to the curve and you change the, uh, the, the number of frames, let's say to 250, see now it changes all of the offsets, all the offsets for each one of these is uh, a percentage of the value um, here, right? So that this didn't change, but now everything uh, changed. So now we have to readjust the, the value here if we change anything about the curve. So if you edit the curve, the value of the percentage of those will change. They will have a different, uh, um, see as I make the curve bigger, right? You see it's gonna change the value of the offset. So that is the one thing that's um, uh, the bad thing about this technique. But you know, it's after we make the uh, curve final, then we can, you know, change these if we need to change the value of these offsets here to make this back to the center of that. Okay, so there's one other thing, um, and that is uh, when you get around here, if we want to make the bank here, um, let's say we uh, let's make a bank here, and uh, let's move that up here. Let's say if we go like that, right? So. Um, as it goes up over the bank, maybe we want to change the rotation of the bank a little bit. And you can see already the uh, the uh, empties are, are rotating, but the bones are not rotating. And the reason is because of the constraint for um, track two. Track two is writing over uh, the rotation of the of the bone it's taking over the rotation and the way to fix that um, I believe uh, is to set the Z target like that and now that sets this bone uh, to the angle of the uh, empty right so now we do that and that and for each one of these set target Z and this one target Z okay and uh, this is obviously the weight painting is really hor really bad on this, so <laughs> it's getting all over the place. But um, it, this is only a test. So, but you can see now that now that we have that, you can see the bones are following the empty. And if we edit this with Control T, everything will follow. Uh, put this to active element and Control T, and now we can rotate these bank values of the. Um, of the uh, curve, right? So that now it will uh, just go over the bank and we can adjust those rotations, right? Okay, so that's how that works. So now, finally, uh, after everything is the way we want it, uh, we have to, um, we're ready to export the animation for a game engine. We need to take all of these in pose mode every bone and we go to pose animation uh, bake action and then so we don't have an action yet it's all constraints but we will make one when we bake it so one two two fifty that's fine for now and then visual keying and then clear constraints and clear parents right and then okay and so now there's no more constraints on the bones and uh, of course there were no parents anyway so it's not parented anything um, actually we don't really need to use uh, no parenting because there was no parents anyway it's just the constraint which was a parent so now this everything's still working 
goes through 1 through 100 is how many keyframes there are on there because of the curve setting, right? Curve setting was to 100. I just left it to 250 when I baked it, but it doesn't matter. So uh, any rate, so now we know that's working. We can test it. If we delete the, the uh, curve and uh, all the empties are down here, but the bones are still following that animation. Okay, so that's how we set it up for uh, final baking.